Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Heavy lift helicopters serve a vital and irreplaceable function within the U.S. military. While they may lack the speed of fighter jets or the cargo capacity of large transport planes, their unique ability to take off and land vertically and hover in place makes them indispensable in a variety of operations. Among the most prominent of these aircraft is the CH-53. First introduced as the CH-53A in the early 1960s, it proved its worth during the Vietnam War. The helicopter was capable of transporting up to 38 fully equipped troops, carrying 8,000 pounds of internal cargo, or lifting 13,000 pounds externally via a single-point sling hook. The U.S. military felt the urge to lift additional weight, so they decided to develop an enhanced variant, the CH-53 DC Stallion. It featured improved engines, transmission, and a revised interior to carry up to 55 soldiers at a time. This helicopter was so powerful that it could take off with a maximum weight of 42,000 pounds. However, with an increment in logistical operations, the U.S. military decided to develop a new variant, the CH-53E, which ultimately increased its power and capacity to lift heavy cargo. It was capable of transporting up to 30,000 pounds of cargo internally and up to 36,000 pounds of slung loads externally. On the 22nd of September 2023, the Marines showcased the CH-53E's heavy lift capability by lifting a joint tactical vehicle and an M777 howitzer during the Miramar Air Show in San Diego. The recent decades have shown a marked increase in the use of heavy lift helicopters, particularly due to their payload, range, and performance. This increase in demand prompted the U.S. Marine Corps to develop the Sikorsky CH-53 K King Stallion. Featuring new engines, composite rotor blades, and a wider cabin to replace its heavy lift workhorse CH-53E. The aircraft understands how to keep itself stable. So for example, when you're in a hover in this aircraft, you can basically auto-couple the, the aircraft to a point in space, laterally and in, in elevation as well, and, and literally fly it simply telling it to go up, down, left, right, in, 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 you know, in, in feet increments, rather than when I'm flying the 53E, literally sweating, trying to use my feet, my hands, everything at the same time to keep the aircraft in one spot. CH-53 K King Stallion is a next-generation heavy-lift helicopter developed by Sikorsky Aircraft, a Lockheed Martin company. The United States Marine Corps, USMC, is acquiring it to replace the aging CH-53E Super Stallion and plans to procure 200 CH-53K helicopters at a total cost of $25 billion. The ground test vehicle testing for the CH-53K began in April 2014, whereas the testing began with the maiden flight on 27 October 2015. The Marine Corps received the first CH-53K in May 2018, and it has recently passed the initial operational capability. 
The CH-53K has undergone several performance tests in more than 1,200 test flight hours. Before every flight, the crew performs pre-flight checks on the helicopter to ensure everything works perfectly. The exterior is inspected thoroughly. The fuselage is examined for leakage, and all the electronic systems are checked by the pilot before takeoff. Once pre-flight inspection is completed, the crew takes off and advances toward the mission location. In addition to external lift capabilities, the CH-53K features an internal cargo bay, which is 30 feet long and 9 feet wide, and can carry 35,000 pounds of cargo, such as 463 liters pallets, Humvees, and 30 fully equipped soldiers. In addition, the cargo bay facilitates the loading and unloading of cargo without reconfiguring and removing troop seating. The loading and unloading operations are conducted via the rear ramp. In 2020, the CH-53K successfully conducted an air-to-air -air refueling test over the Chesapeake Bay with the help of a U.S. Marine Corps KC-130J Super Hercules aerial tanker. The CH-53K repeatedly demonstrated its ability to capture and plug the drogue at increased closure rates irrespective of the turbulence and the force on the refueling probe. The successful air-to-air -air refueling test ensures that the CH-53K is capable of carrying more Marines, cargo, and equipment over longer ranges and in more challenging environments than any other helicopter in the world. Over the years, the United States Navy has used several helicopters, but when it comes to an amphibious assault scenario, the CH-53K has outperformed its predecessors. The powerful engines and lifting capabilities of CH-53K allow the Marines to transport three dozen fully equipped Marines from ships to shore directly on the battlefield. Moreover, the CH-53K can also extract the troops and equipment from the battlefield and bring them back onto the ship. Before being cleared for use in amphibious assault operations, the CH-53K King Stallion underwent a rigorous series of sea trials to evaluate its performance and reliability in maritime conditions. These operations were conducted under a wide range of wind and sea conditions, thoroughly testing the aircraft's handling, stability, and operational limits at sea. The CH-53K King Stallion does not come with integrated weapon systems. U.S. Marine crews commonly equip the aircraft with GAU-2150 caliber machine guns mounted on both the left and right side doors, as well as the rear cargo ramp. These high rate of fire weapons provide 360 degree coverage, allowing gunners to engage both ground and low flying aerial threats during missions. To ensure operational readiness, CH-53K door gunners undergo rigorous training that includes live fire exercises against simulated enemy positions. 
to fire machine guns at targets, the maneuverability of the helicopter must be very precise. This is where CH-53K really changes the game. It has an advanced fly-by-wire technology that provides optionally piloted capability and autonomy. It reduces pilot workload and minimizes exposure to threats and danger, particularly during complex missions or challenging aircraft maneuvers. This allows the pilot to manage and lead the mission rather than solely focusing on flying the helicopter. The CH-53K has an impressive external lift capacity. It features two hooks rated at 25,000 pounds each. The maximum takeoff weight of this helicopter with an external load is 88,000 pounds. which allows the U.S. Marines to transport troops, weaponry, and heavy vehicles from one place to another. On September 5, 2021, the U.S. Marines took two CH-53K to the White Mountain Range, 20 miles to the north of Bishop, California, and successfully executed the recovery of a downed Navy MH-60 helicopter that had been attempting to recover a civilian hiker with a broken ankle, but unfortunately experienced a hard landing. This mission to lift the 15,200-pound search-and-rescue helicopter was challenging. Specifically due to an altitude of 12,000 feet above sea level. However, the CH-53K successfully performed the mission and proved its efficiency. In 2018, several tests were conducted on the CH-53 King Stallion, and as a result, more than 100 mechanical issues were brought to light. One major concern was that the engines sucked back their dirty exhausts, which led to engine overheating and system stalling. However, in 2020, Sikorsky resolved all of its mechanical issues, and the CH-53K was back in the air. Since then, the U.S. Marine Corps has provided routine maintenance before and after the flight. Initially, the Marines inspect major parts of the helicopter, such as the fuselage, rotor blades, tail boom, and engines. The Marines then repair or replace non-operational parts and ensure that the helicopter is ready to take off. During testing, the CH-53K demonstrated its ability to lift a payload of 36,000 pounds externally, which is nearly triple the capacity of its predecessor. The CH-53K King Stallion stands at the forefront of heavy lift helicopter technology, embodying decades of innovation, combat experience, and mission-driven design. With unmatched lift capacity, state-of-the-art avionics, and the ability to operate from sea to shore and back again, the CH-53K offers the U.S. Marine Corps a strategic advantage across a wide range of missions. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.